Hey Virgo, how are you guys? I hope you are really well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the second half of September 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Virgo. It is general, so it's not going to be everybody's story. That is perfectly okay. If you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And also because this reading is general, it also means that the roles can be reversed even if you are cross-watching. All right, so let's see. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second half of September. What is going on between you and another person? All right, let's see. For the situation, we have the Ace of Pentacles crossed by the Ace of Wands. All right, two Aces here. There's a new path here. There's a path that is open. I feel like it actually feels pretty good, like in the material, like things are lined up and it's something that could take off um, realistically. But the challenge here with the Ace of Wands is really somebody um, using some drive or believing in it. So it's like everything is there, but it's just a matter of actually believing in this. Let's see, for the recent past, we have the Five of Wands. Okay, so there may have been some um, either arguments that may have occurred, maybe some drama, some kind of <clears throat> conflict here between the two of you recently, either in person or even energetically. We'll see more when we clarify. Let's see, for you, we have the Nine of Wands and the Sun. Okay, so we do have Leo showing up here in your reading. So some of you might be dealing with a Leo or you might have strong Leo in your charts. Um, I feel like you're fighting. You're fighting for happiness here, um, either for your own self or in terms of this connection here. And it really feels like a struggle getting there or it feels like, yeah, you know, this is like, really hard work in order to get to this happiness or to get to this success. Let's see for them. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. All right. Um, so definitely strong earth here. So some of you might be dealing with an earth sign. What is this person holding on to? I feel like there's some stubbornness here on the other side. Um, we'll see about that Queen of Pentacles. May or may not be somebody else um, here, but I do feel like this is this is you, right? This is representing Earth energy, so I do feel like this is representing you. Like this person is really holding on to you, but at the same time, almost like kind of guarding themselves, keeping keeping the door locked in some way. We'll see. For the near future, we have the Seven of Cups. And let me just see the message for you. We have the Page of Cups. Okay, so it does feel like there might be a little bit of confusion, especially emotionally, um, when it comes to this connection. And I do feel like because it just feels like somebody is making things more difficult than what they need to be. Um, and the message here for you with this Page of Cups really is to just be be true to who you are be true to your feelings so whatever your feelings are allow them to come through allow them to come through there's no need to hold them back or to um, engage in any kind of like competitiveness or um, wanting to put somebody down in any way. And I'm not saying that you're doing that, but sometimes it's easy when, when we're triggered to allow ourselves to, you know, engage in conflicting conversations or attitudes. And that's only natural. However, the message here is very, very strongly to just, you know, speak from the heart, basically. All right, uh, let's clarify, Virgo. Let's see, what is going on here? So let's see those aces, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. It almost comes in as maybe there's like, there's this strong passion between the two of you and that can actually create conflict and like intense feelings 
and just intensity overall. So let's see, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and we have the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. All right. Seven, nine, seven. And two aces, all right. Yeah, it's like somebody's not trusting in this new path. It's there. It's there. Like, the potential is definitely here. Everything is like, in the material world at least, it's there. Like, everything is just exactly where it needs to be in the physical in order for something to come together here or in order for something to be resolved. Somebody is not trusting in that. I'm not sure if that's you or them, or maybe even the both of you. But the thing is, is that you both have this wish for each other and but it just feels like <clears throat> it feels like there's a lot of just trying to figure things out trying to resolve things trying to okay do it this way do it that way and all of this just creates a lot of a lot of drama or a lot of um conflict almost like there's like there's too much of something too much trying to figure it out it's almost like there's this, okay, you know, just stop. <laughs> um, and again, I'm not, I'm not directing this at you. It could be for the other person. It just feels like, I don't know if it's like competitiveness or like, there's something, something. I can't quite put my finger on it. Let's see this five of wands. Because I feel like even though this is the recent past, I feel like this is kind of like what is creating <clears throat> the rest of the issues here. So let's see, five of wands. All right, we have the eight of cups and we have the page of wands. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, I, it really feels like there's a lot of intensity here. So it's like, um, even if it's just on an energetic level, um, which means, you know, like the way that you think about this person or the way that this person thinks about you. I feel like the, the feelings are so strong that when somebody gets triggered, they get really triggered. Um, whether they realize it or not, it can be like subconscious. So then the energy that comes out from that person or from the both of you, you know, it can be very, very intense, like against each other. Almost like you're against each other when actually you both really want each other. And so what I'm getting here with this Eight of Cups, clarifying the Five of Wands, is it's like a, like one of you might even give the cold shoulder almost to the other. Um, and it's because of it being so, so intense. It almost comes off, God, I hate to say this, but it almost comes, comes off as a little bit like immature, but it's not that it's immature, although it could definitely be on, on one person's side. Um, it's more of it's like so intense that it's so difficult to handle in a mature way. Almost like like you get under each other's skin, um, but at the same time, like you like there's this passion that's there. All right, Virgo. Let's see. Let's see that nine of wands in your energy. The knight of cups and the hermit. Okay, so that's you showing up here, right, as the hermit. Um, I feel like, you know, this is, this is something that you, that you want. Um, I actually feel like there, it might be that you're both kind of doing the same thing. Again, just take this as it resonates, okay, because it can't be exactly the same for everybody. But one message that I'm getting here, which might only be for some of you and not all of you, um, it, it, it's kind of like when this person comes in and, and, you know, they're feeling like more, their energy is more soft. It's like, then you have this wall up. Um, because you've already been triggered, for example. So it's kind of like now it's too late and now I just, I, I can't remove this grudge. Um, and then it could also be vice versa, you know, then when you're ready, this person is now holding a grudge because you were, you had a wall before, you know, it, it feels like it kind of goes back and forth a little bit like that. Um, but really like deep down, what you are striving for here is, 
you know, like peace and happiness and yeah, like you just want to be happy. <laughs> um, and I feel like, you know, it's like this person just either makes it hard for you because again, like there's just so much intensity here. Let me see the sun. Nine of swords and five of wands. <laughs> Yeah, it's like you just want this happiness and then bam, like this, this happens. That five of wands that I was just talking about, right? Like this, um, it's pretty much what I've been explaining. It, it, this is just confirmation. And of course this causes, you know, stress and it causes anxiety and it causes like frustration and all of those things. And, you know, just when you think that, okay, you know, we can be happy, then, you know, something happens and... Yeah, I feel like it just keeps going back and forth like that. Um, almost like there's this competition between the two of you on some level. All right, let's see what's going on with them. Because I, I, don't, I don't see them, because I know it feels like I'm telling you like all these things and you know, that are not so great, but I don't see the, the other person being more um, cooperative either. So I think it's like one of those things where you each affect each other in that way and you just you just can't help it because of the connection. All right, let's see. Four of Pentacles. And we have Ten of Swords and the Queen of Wands. I feel like this person actually... Um, feels more hurt than they show. Um, every time this happens between the two of you, they're feeling the pain. They're really feeling the pain. It, almost like they feel a betrayal. And not necessarily a betrayal from you, although it could be, um, just even a betrayal to the connection overall. And they present themselves, though, as this Queen of Wands, like confident, you know, know everything is great, but actually they're not, there's this pain here. But I feel like that door is locked, almost like they cannot let you in to see that. And then I feel like that actually is what perpetuates your energy. Whereas if they could be a little bit more open about how they truly feel, then everything would just be a little bit softer rather than, okay, you know, trying to play it off this way or putting up some kind of a front. Um, interesting. Okay, let's see the Queen of Pentacles. The Hanged Man and the World. I feel like you both want the same thing. You both want like some kind to reach some kind of a goal here, to reach some kind of a a resolution, some kind of a conclusion. But I do feel like this person holds back a lot. A lot. Um definitely let me know what sign you're dealing with. I'd be curious to know. Because I see them like just really being very reserved, um, holding back, not really showing how it is that they feel, and so that doesn't help you right? It's like, yeah, I wish they could just open up a little bit because then that would also help to soften you up a little bit and to help you understand where they're coming from. Um, again, roles can be reversed, so just take it as it resonates. Let's see that Seven of Cups, which is coming up in the near future. We have the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. All right, two kings here. Yeah, so like I said, it's like everything in the, it feels like the material world, it's like there, right? And I feel like, you know, there's this um, sense of, okay, you know, we can have a long-term stable commitment here. And I do feel like this person wants that. The emotions are also there. But I feel like this confusion, there's this confusion around all of this because somebody is not trusting. And 
it could be you that's not trusting because this person is closed and not really showing you not being transparent about how they're feeling and then it could also be that you know the reason why they're that way is because they're also not trusting they're they're not trusting themselves in this connection for example okay um I mean, the love is here, the emotions are here, the passion is here, even wanting commitment is here. It's really just about clearing up these emotions and I feel like that's why the, um, the message here, even if it is them that need to open up more, right? If you're watching this and you resonated more with the top row and the bottom row is the other person who's not watching the video, I feel like the message still applies to you because maybe if you, or maybe you've already done this, um, but if you open up your heart and not, not mimic them in any way, it may help to soften them up or, you know, just listen to your heart. And if your heart is telling you to walk away from this for now, walk away from this for now. All right. I'm not seeing that. It's going to be different for each of you. I'm just seeing, you know, to really listen to your heart here and to speak from your heart and act from your heart of course so let's see let's see this page of cups tower and king of swords Ooh. okay let me just move them in a little bit because i just realized they're a little out okay Yeah, there's a lot of triggers here. As I said, there's a lot of triggers happening in this connection. And I feel like there's a lot of rigidness, which is, you know, I mean, like I said, you know, it's like a vicious cycle when one person reacts in a dramatic way or in a conflicting way, you know, then that just kind of elicits that kind of a response from the other person. So it doesn't really matter who starts that. Um, the message here for you is to just stay true to your heart regardless. And those are fireworks. <laughs> they happen pretty frequently here. All right, Virgo, let's see. If this resonated with you, please do give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know, and let's see the final message for you. And maybe those fireworks mean something to somebody. All right, we have yin. Yes, which is the feminine energy of yin and yang, right? So this is all about being receptive. This is all about being softer. Just to listen to your emotions, listen to your feelings. As cheesy as that sounds, I mean, that's what I've been saying all along, right? <laughs> Especially with the Page of Cups and then we get yin. This is also about the feminine energy. Um, so yeah, just take that as it resonates. This is all about being um, receptive and having that soft feminine energy. So just take that message however it makes sense to you and if it does. All right, Virgo, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.